shells have an interesting shape and in Lightwave you can make light work of modeling a shell using the right tool and the right tool in this case would be the seashell tool so I thought we could go ahead and take a look at that I'm gonna go ahead and close this down and the first thing to know about the seashell tool is it's uh, pretty much like a distant cousin of the lathe tool so it works very similar to the lathe tool so we need to start off with uh, some kind of flat shape I'm just gonna use uh, a disk okay I'm just gonna offset it from the origin okay there we go and I'll go ahead and turn on texture wires just so that we can so we can see the geometry and I'm gonna come over to multiply extend more seashell hit in for numeric okay and we can already see a shell uh, has been made but we, we really need to adjust it and this will also give us the uh, opportunity to explore what the different settings are okay so of course just like with the lathe tool you have the axis that you want to choose on and the Y we wanted to lathe around the Y and because my face was running through the Z um, it made sense to lathe around the Y but you can choose the axis here the number of loops okay if we increase this well we're not really gonna see it if we increase it you can kinda see it gets darker there it's how many times do you want to loop around okay now once we adjust some of the other settings we might want to increase that or we can uh, we can change that uh, we can have it higher or lower okay the sides per loop well that's how many sides think about the lathe tool or uh, when you create a disk or a, a sphere how many sides do you want how smooth do you want that so we can increase the sides the shift is really uh, just another name for offset remember in the lathe tool there's uh, an offset um, from the start uh, to the end of the lathe well here it's shift so we can um, we can use the shift setting to shift it away okay so that it's not right on top of each other if we lower that everything is just right on top we have one it's just barely shifting and it's not enough to to get off of the geometry so I'm gonna raise that a little bit uh, the scale is kind of like taper it's do you want to scale do you want it to get smaller as it goes and you know when we were looking at that image of the shell it kinda looked like that but it depends on what you're what you're going for okay so I can um, I can start increasing the the size and it doesn't taper as much so I am going to have it scale down Okay. And, of course, if we want to automatically create a UV map, I need to have a UV map uh, created already, and I need to have it active uh, down in the vertex map area so that I can take advantage of making a UV map. Okay, so all we really need to know about this tool is that it's, it's pretty much the lathe tool, but with the uh, ability to scale... Uh, as it as it goes down where we can do offset in lathe and we can change the number of sides we can we can pretty much do everything that you see here uh, but what we can't do with the lathe tool is scale it so that as it loops around it gets it gets smaller okay so I'm gonna go ahead and commit to this now the thing to try let's go to texture mode so that we can see this and just so that we can kinda get a, a better idea I'm going to um, hit Q for surface and I'm gonna call this shell give it some kind of shell color maybe and a little bit of smoothing and spec okay so there's our little seashell now we used a, a circle for that I'm just gonna change up the shape a little bit so I am gonna start with the disk again Except this time, let's go to modify, taper, in for numeric, and let's use, let's draw out our little fall off. And I'm just going to change this size up a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to stretch it just a little bit, something like this, more of a diamond shape. Okay. I still have the, the, the curve on there, but just kind of a diamond shape. Okay, and we'll we'll use the seashell tool on that. So we'll go back over to multiply, extend more seashell in for numeric. Okay, and right now it's right on top of itself. But if we shift it, 
Okay. Now we have a completely different shape. I'm going to scale it a little, a little bit more and drop down the shift a little bit. Okay, maybe increase the number of loops and we'll give it some more sides. Okay, so there you go. That's just a quick look at the seashell tool. It's another, um, it's another type of lathe tool. Uh, the, the key thing to remember is to play with the different uh, flat polygons that you're going to lathe around that you're going to use the seashell tool on and you can get some really amazing results and depending on the shape you can get a whole range of results so play with the different shapes uh, give seashell uh, the seashell tool a, a go and you can have a selection of shells